Welcome to the Ultimate Fight Simulator, where I will be simulating upcoming fights in a game of three series to determine my prediction for their actual fight. And as you can see from your screen, I will be simulating and previewing the catchweight bout, not the bantamweight bout, the catchweight bout between Henan Barrow and Aljamain Sterling, which takes place this Saturday at UFC 214 at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Henan Barrow entering the octagon, the former UFC bantamweight champion, coming off a win over Philippe Novaire. Uh, this pat actually was in September, so it feels like a while ago uh, at UFC Brasilia. It was a unanimous decision. Taking on Aljamain Sterling, who also won his last fight via unanimous decision, uh, over Augusto, Augusto Mendez at UFC Kansas City, which took place on Fox, on Big Fox. As we look at the tail of the tape, Henry Brown is actually 30, Aljamain Sterling is 27. Aljamain Sterling is the bigger guy, but it's, you know it's, it's Henry Brown who actually struggles to make... Um, the 135 limit, which is why this fight is taking place at catch weight. Um, the California State Athletic Commission uh, has a new policy, and is uh, you know they're taking it very seriously, and you can tell that they're doing so when they're making Henan Barrow fight at 140 against Aljamain Sterling. Henan Barrow fights at a Nova Uniao with a plethora of fights on his record, 39 fights to be exact, 34 and four. With one no contest in MMA. Taking on Aljamain Sterling. Fights at a Sarah Longo fight team in Union Uniondale, Cal uh, New York. Looks a lot different than he does right now. He doesn't have the fro. <clears throat> Obviously he doesn't have the grill right now, but... This is baby Aljamain Sterling in this game as the first round takes place. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe the, the striking advantage definitely goes to Henan Barrow, but it'll be interesting to see how he deals with Aljamain Sterling's reach as Henan Barrow stuffs, his, uh, stuffs Aljamain Sterling's takedown. Henan Barrow has one of the highest, if not the highest, takedown defense rate in uh, UFC history. Or currently, I don't know about history, but definitely currently, as he pounds Aljamain Sterling's face with ground and pound from the mount. Henry Barrow, a black belt under Andres Pedineris when it comes to jiu-jitsu. But as you can see, the fight takes place back on the feet as Aljamain Sterling catches him with a head kick and another one. Several head kicks. Oh. And Aljamain Sterling takes uh, Henan Barrow down, which is very possible. He's an, Aljamain Sterling's not like a, a Division One type. Well, he, he didn't do Division One wrestling, but he uh, he has some pretty legit wrestling. Was it? He was actually on the same wrestling team as John Jones back in college, and that's how that's actually how Aljamain Sterling found uh, found out about MMA. I don't know about found out, but he uh, John Jones had uh, Aljamain Sterling uh, interested in the sport of mixed martial arts. It's going to be a competitive fight on the ground. I know Aljamain Sterling's a, a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Matt Serra, so... I know Henan Barrow has the higher rank, but it's when it comes to MMA grappling... Aljamain Sterling is a problem on the ground, but it looks like Henan Barrow is controlling Aljamain Sterling on the ground, takes him down again, as he takes his back again, but Aljamain Sterling ends up on top. And it looks like that's the end of the first round. Easy 10-9 for Henan Barrow with uh, the striking. You know, he, he was just better all around. <clears throat> it was feels like yesterday when Henan Barrow was one of the best. He was he was pound for pound the best fighter in MMA. And then after the TJ Dillashaw fight, the first one, 
it was just all downhill from there. He had like a a, a Jimmy Rivera, Thomas Almeida type record. And it still looks like one of the best records in MMA. As Hennenberg gets back on top. Hennenberg holds wins over Uriah Faber, Eddie Wineland, Michael McDonald, Scott Jorgensen. He fought for WEC before the UFC. He only fought a couple of times, but he was a part of the uh, WEC transition to the UFC. Aljamain Sterling, a former Ring of Combat Bantamweight champion, a former CFFC Bantamweight champion. So he's, uh, he's got some gold of his own. Not at the level of Henan Burrell, but he's, he definitely has the potential to do so. He's only 27 years old, training with a great team. But he's going through some adversity right now as Henan Burrell is pounding his face in again. Oh, it looks like he has him. Oh, no. Henan Burrell has his back. Is he going for a choke? He is. Going for a rear naked choke. Again, 15 submissions on his record. If I'm not mistaken, yep, 15 submissions. That looks pretty deep. Would have beaten Aljamain Sterling at his own game, but Aljamain Sterling escapes and ends up in mount. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Hannah Burrell actually spent some time in the U.S. Uh, at, um, what's that gym in Arizona? Arizona Combat Sports. He trained at he trained at the same gym as TJ Dillashaw. Uh, sorry, not TJ Dillashaw. Of course not. Uh, CB Dalloway. Oh, Aljamain Sterling going for a triangle choke. Oh, transitions to an armbar. Oh, and he catches him. Aljamain Sterling wins via second round armbar. And a backflip, a beautiful backflip. I'll give that a 9. Could have been a bit cleaner, but I'll, I'll, I'll give it a 9. And we'll see a replay of it. Look at that. Aljamain Sterling submitting the black belt in Henan Burrell, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Unbelievable. Burrell was winning that fight. He was dominating that fight. I'd, I'd go as far as saying dominating, but... The first win of the series goes to the Funk Master. New York Zone. Aljamain Sterling one nothing. As we head into the next round. Look at the look at that look at those edit, editing skills, unbelievable. Not even a computer in place. As, as we focus back on the fight, Henan Burrell. Aljamain Sterling, Al, Henan Burrell trying to. Tie the series up while Aljamain Sterling looks to get Henan Burrell out of there. As Henan Burrell is just throwing spin kicks after spin kicks. He's just lucky he's not facing Nick Diaz. <laughs> As Aljamain Sterling is kicking him in the head. Henan Burrell takes Aljamain Sterling down. Henan Burrell in the mount again. He keeps going in the mount. I don't know how easily he can do that in the real fight against Aljamain Sterling. Especially with Matt Serra yelling in his ears. I can't wait to see that. I'm glad this is on TV so we can see. Uh... Well, I don't know if we'll see the. I don't know. It'll probably go to commercial, but hopefully uh, FS1 is smart enough to, you know, keep the. Uh you know, let this fight be commercial free and allow us to see the entertaining uh, coaching from Ray Longo and Matt Serra.
Oh, look at this. There's going to be a lot of trading positions in this fight. Oh! Aljamain Sterling going for a Kimura with 8 seconds left on the clock. But Hennenborough escapes. And I think Hennenborough wins this round again. Then again, Hennenborough won the first round in the last fight. Second round brought to you by Brittany Palmer. Beautiful Brittany Palmer as round two starts. Hennenborough immediately drops uh, Aljamain Sterling with a light kick. Uh, for some reason, I keep calling Aljamain Sterling by his full name. Aljo. Aljo takes Hennenborough down 30 seconds into the fight, into the second round. Oh, Aljamain Sterling going for another armbar on Hennenborough. See if, if he can make it two in a row, but no, he cannot. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, he's not stopping. Oh, that's it. Stop the fight. Oh, that's it. It is all over. That was quick. Aljamain Sterling. Well, it was it was the second round, but it was a quick finish into the second round. Aljamain Sterling wins via ground and pound in the second round. Another second round finish for Aljamain Sterling, so I will go with the second round stoppage. That's going to be my prediction as we listen to the official decision or see it. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but once again, Aljamain Sterling. Aljamain Sterling sweeps the series 2-0 over Henan Barrow, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. So my prediction is going to be Aljamain Sterling, second round knockout. And I'm going to, just because Henan Barrow's jiu-jitsu is amazing, I'm just going to go with the knockout. So that's going to be it. Tomorrow, uh, stay tuned for Alexander Albu versus Kalen Curran. UFC 214 this Saturday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.